So in this video, we'll talk about map interface. Now, when you talk about list or set, so those are the collection of elements, right? We have values there. So particularly if we talk about array list, where you put all your values and how to differentiate between different values is with the help of the index number. So let's say if you put a value like Naveen at the first location, you will use index number zero. Let's say you have the value as John, the second value, you will refer it with the help of index number one. If you have, uh, let's say, Marisa, that's the second name, or the third name for that matter, the index number would be two. So the, to differentiate between different values, we use index numbers. But the problem is, we humans, we are not that comfortable with numbers, right? So for every value, I need some specific key, right, which I can represent. Example, let's say, Naveen would be, let's say I will use a key as uh, my name, right? So my name is a key and Naveen is a value. Uh, my favorite actor, I will say John. So the key would be actor and the value would be John, right? So we need a key value pairing here. And to achieve that, to achieve key value pairing, we use map. So how do we use map? We say map. Then we, let's say we have, uh, we have, uh, let's say, let's call the object name as well as map. And then we'll say new. The problem is this map is an interface, right? So if I import this, again, it belongs to java.util. And if I go to map, it's an interface. Now it takes two generic values. One is K and V. Now K represents key here and V represents value. So it's actually a key value pair. So now, so map is an interface. Now how can you create object of map here? So we can use hash map. And we need to import the package for hash map as well. And we got the package ready, however. Now, how do you put values here? Now, the thing is, map think, takes two things. One is the key and second would be the value. Now, to put those values, we have to say, now instead of using add, we, we use a method called as put because in array list in set, we used to use add method, but here we have to use put method. Now, this put method will take two parameters. One is the key. I will say uh, my name, that's the key. And we can have a value here, which say Naveen and we'll say map uh, put, we'll say actor, my favorite actor, I will say, I will say John, and we'll say my favorite CEO, I will say CEO, and that's Medisa. Medisa. Okay, so we got these three values here, we got Naveen, we got John, and we got Medisa. So everything here as a key, right? So you have join, is actor and Medisa is CEO. Now that's how you create. That's how you create a, a map. Now the problem is when you talk about array list, when you talk about uh, set, we always use generic types, right? Because we want to make our collection API type safe. Now how do you make this type safe? So again, we have to use certain type safety here, right? So we can use generics here. So I will say k comma v because this k comma v represents this is key and value, but if you specify the type of it, so time in both are string, right? So both these are string. So we can specify that with the help of string. So we'll say string string, and we are just have to use the uh, diamond bracket. That's it, and you got your map there. So once we once we created the list, once we created the map, and we can put these values here. Now what will happen if I try to print the map? I will say print the map. And if I run this code, okay, so we got a map in this format. We got actor, John, we got my name, Naveen, and we got CEO, Marisa. And you can see it is not in a proper sequence. The sequence should be my name, actor, and CEO, right? But the sequence is not getting mapped. Uh, okay, uh, uh, you, you, you know, you're, 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 you're right. In your brain somewhere you have said that Maybe somewhere it is implementing set because in set as well or has set is in has set as well, we we don't get things in a sequence, right? So you can see the name itself. The name is hash map, right? So in hash set hash map, they both uses a concept of hash code, and they they don't they don't give you the actual sequence which in which you are adding the values. So that doesn't matter. So we can, we can print all the values like this. But let's say I want to print the values in one by one sequence. How can you do that? Now the problem is, 
if I use an uh, enhanced for loop to print the mass to print all this stuff, the problem is how would I know? Uh, how would I know the sequence? Because in, in, in list and set, we can use index numbers, right? How we can use index number here? So what we normally do here is, let's, let's try to fetch one value. Let's fetch Naveen here. Now, how do we fetch Naveen? Is, we'll say system.out.println. I will say map.get. So in this get method, you have to specify the key. No index number here. We have to specify the key. The key is my name. Okay, and if I run this code, you can see we got Naveen. If I change this key from my name to actor, and we'll say run, we got John, right? So that's how you that's how you specify th stuff. Let's say if I say uh, by mistake if I if I type one here, we don't have that stuff in my map, so it will give you null. So for any key which is not available, it will give you null. So there is no exception of that kind that. Uh, something like at index auto bound exception we don't have those exceptions here it will, it will simply give you null so in this get method you have to specify the key so once you specify the key you will get the value right so that means if i keep changing the keys i will get the values right so i can put this thing in a for loop and every time i will change the key right but hold on from where i will get the key now the awesome thing is in map we have a method called as key set now what is this key set is, so key set will give you set of keys, so it will give you my name, it will give you actor, it will give you CEO. And we can store that value in a set, right, so we can say set of string, uh, we'll say this is keys equal to map dot key set. Now once we got key set, let me input the package, once we got the key set, we can say string key colon keys right that's how you can use enhanced for loop here and we can print the key here with some space and we'll print we'll print the we'll print the value as well and if you run this code you can see we got everything in a proper sequence we got actor we got my name and we got ceo with john naveen and marissa right so that's how we can use map interface we can put the values and then we can fetch the values now since we are say that this thing is a set, right? Does that mean we cannot repeat it? Let's say if I say put, and again if I say actor, and if I change this value to let's say Akshay, what happens if I say Akshay now? Will it not take the value? Or uh, let's let's see the behavior. If I run this code, so again we are getting only three values, not four. It was supposed to be four, but we got three. Now why we got three because it uses set right so all these keys is a set of values so it will not repeat so what is happening is when you assign the value akshay to actor for the second time it will replace the original value so it will replace this john by akshay okay that, that's how your map works so these are values i mean we can repeat values here so i can it's i can say naveen so i can have two naveen but we cannot have two actors right so the, it will replace the value so actor is also naveen and my name is also naveen Right, so we can repeat these values, but we cannot repeat these keys. That's because this is set of keys, this is set of keys, and this is list of values. In in list, we can repeat the values. Okay. Now this is this is one way of implementing map. The second way of implementing map is with the help of hash table. Now hash table is also a uh, okay hash table t is small. So hash table is also a class which implements map. So if I go to hash table, even hash table implements map. Where is that? Uh, it's here. So hash table implements map. Now the awesome thing about hash map is that if, I mean the difference between hash map and hash table is where is that? Where is that? Okay, one is synchronized, the other other one is not. Okay, it is not written here. Is it? It should be somewhere. Okay, it's uh, oh yeah. So hash table, so hash table is synchronized and hash map is not synchronized. Okay, so when you know that you have, you don't want to achieve thread safety. Of course, you should go for hash map. But if you if you want thread safety, go with hash table. Okay, so that is one thing. In fact, hash everyone uses hash map. Rarely every, anyone uses hash table so given a choice you will always use hash map okay so instead of hash table we will be using hash map but remember we do have hash table stuff so that's it from this video we have talked about map